Hello everybody, this is Steve from Old Boy Moto. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Bit of a different episode today. Um, as you can see I've got my Live to Ride t-shirt on and I do actually live to ride, I love it, as you know. But today because of the weather, as I'll show a clip of in a minute, um, Northeast Victoria, there's flood warnings everywhere. There's just been crazy wet weather going on for months um, and it's accumulated into flooding everywhere. So it's not much point getting out on the bike and having to cope with all that. So I'm getting a few rides in in between, but today I'm gonna make up uh, something uh, for lunch and I just thought I'd share it with you. Um, so if you've got four medium sized potatoes or whatever, three eggs, and a few spices, some silver beet, onions. It's just a basic uh, potato recipe that I'm gonna do in a fry pan and I'll just go over it with you. Enjoy. It's just unbelievable, it's relentless. We're copping it, we're really copping it. All right, so what I've done guys is I've peeled my potatoes and what I'm gonna do now is grate them. And there's quite a bit of work in this. It's not my favourite job, but here we go. So they need to be grated. I'll put a bit of water in this. There's probably better graters around. This is a cheese grater, but I don't have anything else. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm just grating them into that water in the bowl. Just keep the, um, the potatoes wet, and then I'll strain them off. Got some nice silver beet here that I've just gotten out of the hot house, which is pretty good. What I'll do is I'll strip the main stalk out. I won't throw it away, I'll just put that aside and cut it up finer, that's all. Just want the leaves to be cut up a little bit bigger. And these stalks, which are, you know, they can be a bit chewy, so they need to be cut fairly fine so they cook through. So I'm gonna chop the leaves up. I'm going to chop the stalks up fine and I've also got a bit of parsley uh, out of the garden and I've also got some um, fresh oregano. I'm going to chop some garlic up really fine as well and an onion really fine. I don't want it too chunky inside the, inside the finished product. Alright, so I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll add all our ingredients. Okay, right, so the oregano, parsley and garlic, I'm gonna get as fine as I can. So it's just a matter of just keep hacking away at it till it's really nice and fine. Otherwise you're just gonna get big lumps of garlic and big lumps of whatever through your mixture. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be mixing that grated potato with two teaspoons of flour and three eggs and just mix it through after I strain that obviously that's still sitting in water so it doesn't oxidize those potatoes so and mixing uh, these spices in and a bit of salt and pepper and what I'll be doing is frying two you could say potato pancakes that's what they look like um, one of them will be a plain one with just these spices and I'm going to do one with cheese because my missus is dairy intolerant so she can't have cheese in hers so I'll make two of them I should have plenty to make two or I might even get three out of this so that's about fine enough I've just finished chopping up my silver boot that's about the consistency I like it at and the stalks just a little bit smaller so they're not too chewy that's fine and I'll add all of that to my mixture. I'll just strain these potatoes now. Oh, I forgot the onion. I better do that. I'm just gonna strain this off. Let that dribble out there for a while. And I've got my ingredients ready. All right, so what I've got here, guys, is just a cast iron fry pan. I like to use a cast iron one. Uh, because it holds the heat so well and it heats evenly. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of that. That's extra virgin olive oil. And I'll heat that up when we're ready to go. And uh, once I've got my ingredients mixed, 
uh, we'll pop them in and we'll do uh, both sides of it uh, for seven minutes. Guys, time to do a bit of work. So I'll just put my ingredients in and um, we'll give it a nice mix up. Not sure whether I've gone a bit overboard with that amount of stuff, but it should be fine, I think. Smells beautiful, that uh, garlic and oregano and parsley just really makes it smell nice. So there it is in there. I'll add me three eggs. One, these are beautiful eggs too. These, my missus gets these from a person who's got a farm. Have a look at the size of that. They're beautiful. So nice and orange. Um, they are organic farm eggs, beautiful. Right, so I'll just put two teaspoons of, or two soup spoons or whatever you want to call it, of plain flour, just for binding. That should be plenty, I think. Half the good measure because there's a fair bit of mixture there. And I'll give them a stir up. Okay, guys, so I've got my cast iron fry pan, which the handle is getting very hot. I'm going to have to use one of these. Um, and just heat that oil just before it starts to smoke. And uh, I think that's hot enough now. I'll just turn that down a little bit and I can put my first pancake on. So, just basically add your mixture. And if that's sizzling, that's good. So, it'll be nearly enough, I'd say. And just flatten it round so we get it nice and consistent in the pan. Just go around it like that, get it flat. It's looking pretty good. I reckon I've just about got the right amount in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't want it too thick, because <coughs> otherwise it'll brown too much and it won't be cooked in the middle. And we don't want that, so. I've got a fair bit of mixture left here, as you can see. I'll probably get three out of this, I don't know. But anyway, that one there, that's well on the way. We'll just make sure we've got all this right. So it all sticks together nicely when I go to flip it. Looks about the same consistency all the way through, which is what I want. Excellent. And that's sounding pretty good. I've just turned that down, it's on low. And what I'll do is I'll just cover it up and that'll start to heat it through. So with the rest of this, what I'm going to do is, I've got a nice bit of um, Aldi cheese. This is called butter caskey or something like that. It's a German cheese and it's soft and it's just absolutely beautiful, this cheese. So I'll just break this up and put it through this mixture, fold it through, and this will be the one I'll be eating. And the one on the stove will be my wife's because she can't handle cheese. Right, so that's cooking away nicely. And what I do at the start is I just give it a bit of a shake like that so it doesn't stick. If it does stick, we can always just get under it with one of these and just lift it up. You want it to be free, because what we're gonna do is once we've had that on for about seven minutes, I'll just lift it with that and have a look under it. And if it's nice and brown, what I've got here is a, hang on, I'll just cover that. What I've got here is another cutting board and what I'll do is I'll put the cutting board over, flip the fry pan over and then slide the pancake back on to do the other side. That's the interesting part because if you don't get it right, the pancake ends up on the floor. Just unbelievable. Just while I'm cooking here, I'm watching um, the ABC News 24 and this is Wagga Wagga and they're preparing to be cut off. That's incredible, that's only a couple of hundred k's away from here. Um, yeah, just unbelievable. Tassie's really copping it. There's a lot of worried people around. We need to say a few prayers for those people, guys. Anyway, we better keep cooking. Well, no, here we go, guys. We've had seven minutes on this, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put that over the top of it and Put a glove on the hand. One thing about these cast iron fry pans, they get very hot on the handle. And flip it. 
That's not looking too bad actually. Now that I've flipped it, I just need to put a little bit more olive oil on there. Just make sure we've got a nice slippery bottom for the next one. And just slide that on. There we go. So we get the other side nice and brown. That's looking pretty good. Guys, looks like I reckon she's done. Beautiful, nice and slippery. Just put that out on a plate and that's all done. So what I've done there is seven to ten minutes on each side and the cake's about probably 15 mil thick. So that's what you need. You just got to keep an eye on it. But there it is. Old boy Moto's biker pancake, potato, eggs, spices, cheese if you like. I'm actually going to do another one in a minute where I've added my cheese and should have a nice lunch out of that. Anyway guys, you enjoy. Let's hope this weather picks up, especially for Victorians, uh, New South Welshmen and especially Tasmanians. Um, they are getting hammered. Uh, the last... Uh, look on the TV just incredible the amount of water that's happening over in Tasmania I uh, really need to pray that nothing goes wrong over there well it is going wrong but you know that, that we don't get any serious outcomes anyway enjoy as I said and like and subscribe and I'll see if I can come up with another uh, tasty menu for you bye for now Yep, yep, one of me better ones.